So this is just a little introductory video um, for the Juki 2210. Uh, this is a 2210N-7. It has a Mitsubishi motor that was made, well, by Mitsubishi, but for Juki. So there has a control panel up here, which allows you to have the control for the tacking functions, various tacking functions, forward, back uh, tacks, etc. It uses a larger m size bobbin. So a walking, this is a walking foot machine, meaning a triple feed, sometimes, sometimes what people call it. It's a top loading hook, has automatic thread trimming, has uh, a high walk feature, which I'll demo in just a bit. Um, it has a dual tension function, meaning that you can adjust extra tension if needed. So the primary tension is here, secondary tension is here. Uh, take up spring. Uh, this small dial at the top adjusts the tension on the thread for the trimming function, both at the start and also at the end. So adjusts the length of the resulting tail for the needle. Uh, you have your foot pressure knob up here. Uh, have my light, not having it on for the video. Uh, this dial up at the top here is for your walking height. So this is what uh, controls the uh, quote unquote normal walking height, meaning how high this outside presser foot is walking up. Because when you with a walking foot machine, you have two feet, you have the outside foot and then the inside foot. So this controls how high the outside foot is walking uh, in order to be able to climb over materials like you have here. This is just some uh, truck tarp style vinyl. Uh, multiple layers, as you can see, just rolled right over. It can go through thicker than this. Uh, these machines are designed primarily uh, for the automotive world, upholstery, um, um, so home decor, upholstery world, um, but various, various industries use these. I've seen these used for lots of different things. Uh, you have your reverse lever over here, your stitch length dial. The stitch length goes um, all the way up to nine millimeters in stitch length, so you can get some very long stitches out of this machine, which is nice for when you're doing very long runs. Uh, you get less puckering that way. Uh, again, the control panels up here. Uh, I'm going to not go into that. Just, again, the brief overview of the machine. Uh, thread coming over through the top. Um, so let me just demo it so you can see the... Uh, sewing. It uses a 135 by 17 needle. It's been uh, readjusted re for using the slightly smaller 135 by 17 needle than what this machine was originally designed for, the 190R needles, which are a little bit longer. They're also more expensive and not as many dealers carry those on a regular basis. 135 by 17 is a very common needle for walking foot machines. So uh, this machine has been re reset for using 135 by 17 needles. Uh, with the foot pedal down below, um, if I rock my heel back on the pedal, it will lift the feet automatically. Um, and also, if I when I at the end of my cycle of sewing, if I kick back and then I kick back even more, all the way to the to the bottom, it will activate the trimming function for the thread, unless you turn the trimming thread uh, function off, which you can. So. Currently, I have a back tack set uh, for two stitches forward, three stitches back. Uh, you can adjust it for whatever you want, as you can see. So it does the automatic tacking for you at the beginning. I have my stitch length right now at six millimeters. Now, when you get to a hump like this, this one of the nice things about this machine is that it offers you the ability to have a high walk function, meaning that it, act, it overrides this top dial here and the, when you hit this button here, and you see the button goes green to show that it's on. See how that foot goes really, really high? That outside foot and inside foot, they, they start walking at their absolute maximum because that allows you to get over obstacles and bumps. And then you can turn it off. It gets much louder uh, when you're sewing. So this bump is not that bad, but you can see it's, it kind of stuttered there right when it gets to the bump. Sometimes when you're going over very thick seams where you have multiple panels coming together, you know, in a where you have a panel here, a panel here, and a panel here, like on a, on a seat, uh, like an automotive or an aircraft seat, you have very, very thick seams. So that's what the high walk function is for. You also have a reverse button here, which is activated by air. This machine does require compressed air. 
um, in order to uh, uh, support some of the functions of the machine, including, as you can hear, that tss, that's the that's a solenoid activating the foot lifter. So there are solenoids on the back of the machine for various functions, including reverse. So I'll show you right now. So if I hit the reverse button, I don't even have to reach over to the lever. I can just, and I can go as slow as I want. Now the high walk function again, to go over those bumps, clear the bump, lower it off. You get to a bump. the bump and I'm going to end with the back tack so it does leave long tails but this machine being an industrial machine that hook is very large so there's not as much room where you have like a, on a small machine a small bobbin like a needle feed or a single needle drop feed machine a smaller bobbin means those knives are closer so you can have shorter tails newer machines than the 2210 have been able to achieve this through new designs with the knife cutting system. So you can have very, very short tails, which is a nice feature, but those machines are very, very expensive. Uh, I purchased this machine used uh, after the freight costs from one coast to another here in the United States, I paid just, just around $2,700 for this machine, not including getting a new set of legs, which allows the machine to go up higher with wheels on it. Um, yeah, it's been a I've had it for a little while now, and it's been a great machine. I really, really enjoy it. Um, the one thing that I would really like to have more of is just a little bit more area, work area under here. But so far, I haven't had any problems with it. But uh, the newer machines from Juki and also Durkop Adler and uh, Faf, they have a longer working distance from the, the column to where the needle is. So it adds about three or four inches longer, and they're also taller, so you have a bigger open area, work area underneath here, which for people like myself, I'm six foot four, so where I'm a little larger than the normal person in terms of my frame size, my arms, my hands, everything's bigger. I like to keep my tools close by, so it, I can just put these to the side, but sometimes it is nice to just have them really close by, especially when you're doing a lot of trimming or you're cutting things for relief on fitment. Um, so overall, it, that's uh, just a brief overview of the Juki 2210 N-7 with the Mitsubishi motor and controller. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. Talk to you later.